All right, so got the fuel pump installed. Got it temporarily wired. Um, I had just started the truck, so I know it runs with the uh, the factory pump bypassed and just on the electric pump. Um, now what I did is I got this in temporarily, but that 15 amp fuse right there, that circuit will run while the truck is cranking, so it keeps the fuel pump, and I just have the wire run into the fuel pump. All right, so let's test her out. There she goes. I was about to quit. Alright, so one thing I did notice with the new fuel pump it doesn't smoke as bad as it did before. So with the old factory pump, um, it would smoke a lot more than this. You would see like piles of cloud of smoke right after I started it. So compared to what it was, this is like nothing. Um, now I do know that on the standardine injection pumps that the timing is directly related to the fuel pressure. So I'm assuming with the increased fuel pressure, with the new electric pump, it just works a lot better. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I got that filter in. I've been playing with ideas of how to mount it. But this is a... Let me turn this off so you can hear me. Alright, so this is a uh, fuel filter housing for like a Perkins generator. And I've been toying with ideas on how to mount it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but I kind of wanted to get it, you know, inside where the factory unit was. But I've got to make sure I've got enough room for my lines to make that turn, unless I end up getting like a 90 degree. Um, fitting or something so what I'm going to do for now is just get the hoses hooked up and make it functional and then I'll probably reroute it later so right now the very next thing we're going to do is hook up the factory feed line right which comes here goes underneath the cross member to our factory fuel pump. You can see that. Okay, we've got the hard line right there is the pressure line going to the filter housing and then that rubber, you know that little four inches of rubber hose is the other end I just showed you on that filter. So let me get this fuel pump off, put the block off plate on there and then figure out how we're going to connect those two lines together.